Hello there, this is Lutra FM. Welcome back. Um, just a bit of disclosure first. I recorded two episodes that I was going to upload today and tomorrow. And then what happened when, when I was, um, what happened was I was um, streaming on Twitch and I didn't have very much disk space. So I had an alert um, to let me know I needed to delete some disk space for me to carry on recording the stream I was doing yesterday. So, like a Wally, I deleted the two videos I recorded thinking I'd already basically edited them and uploaded them to YouTube and then permanently deleted them from the recycle bin. So, yeah, so unfortunately, we've got some lost footage that I cannot recover. So, you missed the, you didn't miss much the last two episodes. You missed the transfer window. I will do a quick overview of what, what happened there. Um, and you missed the first three games of the season, which I will obviously do a recap as well. I can only apologize to you. Um, I'm still new um, and I'm a bit of an idiot. So these things will happen at times. But yeah, luckily it wasn't too, we didn't miss too much. Um, and most, and literally everything I can, everything that I lost, I can quickly do an overview of. But yeah, I do apologize. Hopefully it won't happen again. But yeah, let's just go through what happened transfer window first. So if we go transfer history here, and then we just go back slightly to the season before, because we had a few players join at the end of the season. Um, so these, these, I think it was these four. So uh, Noah Mabama, um, Shea Lacey, Lennon Miller, and Tommy Doyle joined. And then outgoings, I think, Sell anybody? Um, I think cost. I, know, I can't remember if it was. I think it's uh, here. Here we do it from here. So uh, Joe Rankin Costello went to Norwich for two point seven million. Um, sent a couple of players out on loan, and then Connor Chaplin left. Um, and then if we just skip forward to this bit, so we signed this guy here, Mikola Shavarenko. Who's played a few games already so far? Well, I played one game actually and come on as a sub, so but he's he's a he's a decent sign and free transfer, so we can't complain on that one. Signed Chucky on a permanent deal. Great bit of business, he was amazing for us last season. And then I went a bit crazy and I signed a few your old players to be good mentors for the youngsters, like Danny Welbeck. He's pretty much not going to be playing. Um he'll just be like a, a substitute option if we get really stuck or a backup. Same with James Milner on the bench, but the model citizen personality. So hopefully that'll rub off on the young players. And then we've got Thiago Silva, who's a leader. Um, again, he won't be playing that much. Um, he did play in the Carabao Cup, though. And then we signed this guy here, Emmanuel uh, Emiga. Emiga. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Potential ability of four and a half stars, already three and a half. For an ability, he's, he scored two in three games. Got seven in two in the friendlies. So we're very happy with that. 35 million from Strasbourg. So he's basically going to be the guy that replaces Martial eventually. Martial will play a bit this season still because he was very good for us. But I always knew that when we get promoted to the Premiership, we'd have to upgrade on him. Um, we signed another, DOF signed this player here. He's nothing exciting really. He'll just do for the reserves and stuff. Um, sorry. Uh, there we go. Right, and then we signed this talented youngster, David Oza. Ozo. Um, I'm already thinking of the uh, the lyrics from the So Solid Cruise song. Where go, where go, instead of going, oh no, da -da 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 -da, oh no, a bit Ozo. But I can't remember the lyrics. Somebody uh, put in the comment section what the lyrics is, and I'll I'll sing it every time he scores or something. Um, but yeah, he he did well on he did well on loan at, at Paul Vale last season. Who were in the championship, so he is a good player, young, talented. Um, I don't think he's anything special. Ryan George, we had DOF signed him from Lens. Um, I'll just I won't go for all these free chances actually. Ronnie Edwards, we signed, we'll explain why we signed him in a minute, but very good defender. And then I think he was our other significant signing. So, Oz main. Tamara, very good young French player. Um, and then transfers out. Of, sadly, we had to get rid of, we had to sell Mohamed Alnini. Um, he will be very well missed. 
but yeah, he went to, he wanted a, uh, a different challenge, basically wanted a new challenge, so told him to send it. Good luck to him, hope he does well. Um, we sent a few out on loan. Jared Braithwaite, he was already a deal that was agreed with, like a loan that turned into a permanent deal. Um, we do get 40% of his next transfer, not just like the profit, the whole transfer. So if he does well at Burnley, it will hopefully work out well for us. We sent a lot of our youngsters out on loan. Um, we sent a few players that weren't getting first-team football out on loan as well, like Benny Traore, Jason Knight, Jack Rodoni, um, Ty uh, Typhus, Dolan, Tarsh Saji, Ricky J. Jones, who was not good enough, so we'd get rid of him. Um, we got rid of Adam Day. Oh, day, sorry, he went to Birmingham. A few more players went out on loan. Stole Gabriel Sara because he was moaning all the time, so I just he wasn't he didn't play well when he started. A lot more of our youngsters going out on loan. Like uh, Marcel Ratnik was moaning because he didn't get any first team football last season, so I sent him out on loan rather than sell him. Now the reason why we signed um, Ronnie Edwards was a direct replacement for Axel Tuanzebi because when I did the squad registration, um, it automatically didn't have when Zebby in there, so he moaned about it, so I sent him off. Um, Alan Maher was moaning about first team football as well, so I sent him out alone. Unari was playing well for us, and then um, basically, well, no, he played he played all right for us. Um, the, in the uh, this is why I'm getting confused. Basically, Unari um, in the two episodes that I lost, Unari actually scored a hat trick in the Carabao Cup game that he played before he went alone. So uh, that's a shame. Um, Carl and Grant went on loan, and then we sold uh, the Naha, Na, Naritan, Naritan Nandes, there we go. Um, he didn't really play much when he was here, so we made a little bit of profit on him, which we can't complain about. But yeah, so that's that. Finances are okay, but they're not, they're not projected. To, well, they're projected to be all right, actually. Um, I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, so then there's... Right, so if we go through the fixtures as well, so we did all right in, we did okay in preseason. We could have done better. We lost, um, we drew the first Premier League game two two. So uh, this is what I was concerned about. I knew that we we'd absolutely destroy the championship, but my um, my concern was basically whether we can do well in the Premiership with the players that we've got. Um, at the moment, it's not looking good, but we'll see. But yeah, em Emigar got two goals in his debut. And then we lost 1-0 to Bournemouth. We beat Stockport County 4-0 in the Cowboy Cup, which is obviously expected. There we go. Unari, there we go. I didn't get deleted after all. Sorry. For some reason, when I click on his profile, though, there's no... Like, it doesn't come up on here. That's why I got confused. But, yeah. Unari scored a hat-trick. And then he went on loan. So, uh, um, basically, because I knew he wasn't going to play that much this season, other than in the Cups. I'd rather get first team football because hopefully he can he can come back and be a first team player. But yeah, and then we lost one 0 to Arsenal. No, not the best of all this. But we move on. We're now um got a few days before we've got like 14 days before um oh, eleven days, sorry, I can't count today. Eleven days before the Villa game, so we'll be back in a minute for that first game. Thank you. And we're back for the game against Villa. Um, nothing significant happened in between this bit and the, the episode and the next when we holiday. So here we are. Here's our lineup. That's an in goal. Godfrey, Awu, and uh, Marmol in the centre defence. Doig is at the left back. Laird is the right back. Um, that is best role. No, he's a wing back attacking. So that's not ultimate. Um, Cookie in the centre midfield with Kana, Adosi and Lumbumba on the wings, and then Emigar up front. See what we can do against the villains. Yeah. All right, first highlight already is not in our favour, but maybe we can counter uh, counter attack from this free kick. Villa with the free kick over, that's fine. They can take free kicks like that all day long. Got the free kicks I used to take on FIFA when I was absolutely rubbish at it, which I still am. Right, uh, Miller in there attacking. They, Ramsey just went through our players like they were nothing. That's very discouraging. Right, there, already on a yellow card after two minutes. Calm down. 
head now with the cross. Ooh. I thought he tackled. Try encouraging the players. Hopefully that'll help. Aru, Chucky against his former club, Mormo. Marmel. Uh, Chucky now. The great pass. I'm lucky with the shot there, Garner. We get it back. Get possession back. Let's try and see what we can do here. Little there. Oh, they're up defended well by us. Good ahead of our door. There we go. Well, it's been the better team, but we're we're uh, we're picking up a little bit now. Oh, I'll say that another good corner. Headed out beautifully by oh, good little overhead kick there by Chambers. Fair play. Goffrey. That was a risky pass by him. The backfired on us. We are currently 16th in the league, by the way. We are not doing well this season. There's only four games played, so we're not going to go crazy worrying about it. Uh, Lair's not played very well. I might take him off uh, later on. Doesn't pick up. Oh, they're playing beautiful passing here. We're very lucky to still be in this game. Thank God for our defence and thank God for our goalkeeper. I headed out by uh, Doi. At this point, I feel like it's a defence versus attack training session. Come on. Let's go. And the guard decided to take everybody on his own. Gets tackled, but Chucky's got the ball now. Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. All started by Emiga's run. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. Oh, yes. Go on. Get in. Emiga with his third goal of the season, I think. Miller back on the attack, though, so I'm not going to get too excited. At least we've scored. Take a draw against Villa at this rate in this game. That was terrible defending there. Good defending by him there. Right, that's it. There we go. Get that ball back. Good save. Patterson, man of the match so far. He's been absolutely brilliant. Gonna give Laird a kick up the arse. There we go. Fire him off. And with Adosi. I'm gonna fire up Adosi. Got another free kick. Uh, can we grind out a 1-0 win here and just keep defending for our life? I kind of want the first half to end, really, to be honest. We've definitely not been the better team. They've literally been all over. I think we've FM'd them at this point. If they keep having shots, they're eventually going to score. I don't care how good our defence is. Right, okay. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh... It was a matter of time. The AR are going to uh, rule this out. Hopefully they will. Ah. Right. Watkins. Can Patterson be the hero here? Can he carry on being the man of the match? No. Nah. Even Superman. Take the day off. 1-1. One, one. Probably the right result in hindsight, really. I think you can run as Villa have been very unlucky not to be winning. Got a uh, throw in, Doi with a cross. Nicely saved by the goalkeeper. Never heard of him, Hernandez. Villa just running past us with ease. Oh, there we go. Chucky's got the ball though. Oh, come on, Chucky. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, thank God for that. All right, can we end the game now, please? Can we just end it at 1-1? I feel like it, it's a daylight robbery if we end this game 1-1. But we'll would be very lucky if we get a draw out of this. We're clearance by our defence. Fair play to our defence. Uh, Laird's not playing very well, though. He's going to come off in a bit. They've hit the bar again. I mean, how unlucky are they? All right, get that ball back. That's it. Go on, Emiga. There you go. Good defence supply by our striker. We've got a corner. Can we get a goal here? Oh, we have been doing a goal. Yes, God, eh, Wu? Oh, we're so lucky in this game. It's not the flukiest game ever for us. But if I was Villa, I'd be fuming right now. Absolutely fuming. 
that lead and a dose is coming off in a bit. Just give it a bit more time. Yeah, but that it might turn. Oh, that was Lovumbo, that was terrible. They equalise now. You've only got yourself to blame, lads. Come on. Oh, that was a good goal. Fair play to him. Ah, it was nice while it lasted. Can we just get a 2 2 draw here now at this point, please? I'd, I'd feel really disappointed in the way if we lost, even though I feel like it would be justified. Um, no, not Milner. Milner's too slow. Oh, we ain't got no choice. We're going to have to put Milner in there. Where are we? Uh, no, we're going to have to put Milner in there. And then Dosi, you're going to have to come off. And Finger, come on. Right, before we do anything else, let's make sure Eric Milner, best position is that one is in dirty wing back support. Okay, we'll do here dirty wing back. No support. And it was a dinger, he's an inside forward. I can't remember. Right, hopefully that will change it up a little bit and, and give us a uh, slight chance of getting something. I wish, I wish that game... Ooh. Not good for my uh, heart, this. Is not good for my heart. Our defence has been really brilliant, though, to be honest. The fact that we're still drawing this game when they've had 11, 17 shots, 9 on target. Not scored from this free kick though. No, I could say, well then, Patson, you're uh, keeping us in this game single-handedly at this point. Fair play, yeah. All right, they've got another corner. The Abbey. We clear it, and we got a dinger, a dinger over the top ball. But I don't know who he was trying to pass that to. That was terrible. Villa with the throw in. Nice little passing by there, and fair play. Oh, good, 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 good. The longer this game happens with them not scoring, I do feel like we've got a slight chance of getting something out of this game. I don't know what. We've got some, we're going to get something out of this game, I think. Um, he's a wing back support. Wait. Hey. There we go. Let's see if McCallum can bring some magic to the pitch. He was a good player last season. Not played as much. Yes, go on. If anything, it's going to frustrate the players, uh, the Villa players, because they're going to feel like they should be winning this game. We might be able to get something out of this for that reason. I'm encouraging them again. Uh, Chucky, get you off. We'll put on Shabrenko, and then Lovumbo will take you off. Oh, shall. Come on, see what we can do. We get a draw out of this. Yes, we can. Fair play. That was a good result for us. Um, shouldn't have uh, drew that game. Right, uh, when's the next game? Four days' time, so we're back in a minute for the next game. Right, and we're back. And we've now got Chelsea at home. Um, we'll just tinker with this a bit. Um, but before going to this game, I forgot to tell everybody. Um, in the previous two episodes that I did, basically we moved into our new stadium. So the first thing I did was very cheaply ask for the board to improve the, well, to expand the stadium. So at the moment it's 52,888. Um, I don't think it tells you on here, but Board have agreed to already like um, already expand it, but it doesn't say on here. So I'll let you know when that comes up in the, in a episode. But yeah, so let's uh, let's have a look here. So we've got Patterson in goal, and then we've got the usual three in defence, the usual wing backs. He um, he is not a Masada. Oh, we can play Masada, but he's more of an advanced playing maker. So we'll do that. Playing to his strengths. And then Adosi and Lavumbo, uh, Lavumbo, and then Megar up front, and his best role as well. So, right, let's uh, 
see how we get on against Chelsea. Hopefully it'll be less stressful than the last game because that was, for a neutral, that was a good game for people to watch. Um, you like a bit of drama. Great defensive display by us as well. Right then, Everton. This is Chelsea. Right, 16th now. Really need to pick up a bit. So we're aiming. Ford wants us to get a top half league finish. I personally wanted to get a top four finish, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Might pick up some momentum sooner or later. Uh, nothing major happened in this game so far. We just had a couple of shots though. No highlights from it though, so I assume I assume they weren't very exciting shots. Right, Emma Gar's injured. We've got to take him off. Precaution. Marshall's coming on. A very boring first half. I don't think anything happened at all. Hopefully Marshall will get highlight first. The first highlight of the game that's theirs. Never good. Uh, I feel like they're toying with us here. Get the ball. There you go. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Come on. Get the ball. I'm not talking to a dog when I'm throwing the ball. Get the, get the ball. <laughs> right, Shafrenko passes it back to Patterson to Marmar. Come on, we're closing with danger here. There we go. Head her out. Right, let's try and build up some play here. Martial with the over the top ball. The lead. Lead to Lovumbo. Keeps it in play. Garner. Oh, come on. Well, that was going to lead, lead to uh, a chance for us then. Still got ball though. Oh, beautiful pass. I think he's offside. Martial. First goal of the season, if it counts, but I don't think it's going to count personally. I feel like that was offside. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Just timed his run badly. Easily done. We'll take some players off in a minute after this one. Look. Oh, shh. It's walled Damn it. I feel like this is going to be a very tough season. I feel like, I think I've been very unrealistic with my expectations of us being back in the Premiership. I just assumed we'd build a team from the Championship that can go on and play in the Premiership. I do think we need to strengthen in January now. 2-0, that's it, it's game over in this game. Players off now. Josie, you're playing rubbish, you're coming off, the dinger can come on. Uh, all this... What's this playing badly? Boy, you're playing rubbish, and McCallum can come on. Uh, Laird, you're not playing very well, so Milner can come on. I'll do. Just leave one substitute just in case. Berate the players. Hopefully that will inspire them. Patterson, unfortunately, is playing badly as well. That's enough. Put muscle on. Don't want to make it worse. Patterson ruin his morale. Mm, quite concerning at the moment. Milner, nice little pass to Martial. Martial gets tackled. That was a rubbish highlight, wasn't it? Oh, we got a penalty. Okay. That's a weird one. Well, we might have a penalty. Ah, no penalty. Okay. A little tease. Combo with the corner. Can we get a consolation goal at least? Crosses it in. Right in the deeper zones. Ah. Complete contrast to the last game. Last game we played exceptionally well and we were very lucky to get a point. Um, but I feel like we deserved the point because of the performance. But that game we definitely deserved to lose. That was very disappointing. And we've got bloody Liverpool next. I'm going to play my full strength team for these because I do not want to lose this game as much as I want to rest players. Um, actually, I'll have a think. 
We'll just forward this as quick as possible. And if there's anything interesting that comes up on the news, on news in inbox items, I'll let you know. But usually it's just dribble I'm not into interesting. Um, I have been told recently that I'm, I'm very quick at processing this, so it's um, I'm amazed that anybody can actually keep up with me. So uh, basically, just to give you a little backstory, when I was a when I was a kid, um, when I was when I was like really young, I uh, I was diagnosed with mild cerebral palsy, uh, a thing called ataxia, which affects your like, hand coordination and stuff like that. So they gave me a computer. Oh, well, it was a typewriter to start off with, an old-fashioned typewriter, and um, I got really good at really quick at typing. So I've been used to I've been in front of a computer most of my life. So I'm really quick. Uh, like using the computer and stuff like that so this is why i'm very quick on this and also i've played so much fm like think for instance things like this the these these things here don't interest me at all i feel like they're just they're just aesthetic things to just to make um football manager look like, uh, the people of sega and side games make them look like they're actually making a better game but i feel like it's just a lot of it's just pointless dribble just to make it look like they're actually doing something so i will say that FM24 is better than FM23 so because there is new features. Whereas FM23, I felt like it was just the same as FM22, basically. And they just... Re but I don't mind paying like 30, 40 quid a month. 30, 40, sorry, 30, 40 quid a year. Uh, because the amount of hours I get out of this game, I feel like it's, it's money well spent. So um, I wasn't that annoyed about it because I was like, it is what it is. And I understand they've got to make money, but... Like I said, at least with FM24, oh, pardon me, with FM24, um, you feel like it's a bit of a different one. Uh, right, I'm going to play a full strength team, decided. Norton Cuffey can play there. What's his best role in their winger support, which is fine, because that's what is there. Martial's back in the team. You're a Massar, that's your best position. That, Dano, you're in your best position. You are a wing back support. Uh, Baird. You are wing back, aren't you? Yeah, wing back attack. And the defence as usual. That's an goal. Right, let's see if we can win this and then hopefully that will galvanise the lads to push on for the rest of the season, try and build up some momentum now. But the tough, tough one to ask really against Liverpool. Um yeah, going on about that. So like I'm really quick at playing FM for that reason, so I do apologise. Please leave a comment on the videos. If you feel like I should be slowing down a bit, if, if, or if you're not that, but if you're like me, leave a comment and say and, and let me know that you're not that bothered about looking at things like that. Because I think we all play FM in a different way to everybody else. Some of us will play it really quickly, and some of us will play it really slow and take the time. I mean, like I can I can do an offline, I can play Football Manager offline, and I can get a season done within like twelve hours of gameplay or less. I power play it, and that's like a whole season. Um, I do, oh, he let him in there. Um, oh, when I do an offline save, most of the time I do instant result instead of playing the game, which if people don't know what instant result is, it's um, it's on it's on like a few of these football manager skins that you can get where it gives you the option, uh, like a, a button you can press on the game, no down, um, to instant result, which means you don't have to go through the game. It just, it will just tell you what happens. I think it, the, the other way of doing it is just holiday in it, um, holiday in through that game as well. You can do it that way, but yeah, it's not just instant result. Literally, most of my games. I feel like we're getting. Oh, for God's sake. Um. Hmm. This is quite concerning. Two 0 down to our rivals. The fans are going to turn on me at this rate. Milner. Hey, Iwu, Marmo, McCallum, McCallum with a lovely over the top ball. What can Adinga do? Lose the ball. Not good. Lose possession. That's not good. We get the ball back there. That's good. All right, Marmo, McCallum. Beautiful ball by Chucky. Oh, come on, Martial. Could have had a chance of getting back in the game there. Dot side anyway. Right, just need to do some tinkering here. I need to... 30 wing back support. 
on the final. There we go. And you scored again. Um, I don't want to change tactic because I feel like this tactic does work with the players that we've had before because it worked very well in the championship. I know it's a different league, but I won't have to do another tactic. It's just a bit annoying having to do that. Right, there we go. I've got another chance here. I mean, I might have to change tactics just to just to, just because the players are getting sick of playing this tactic. Probably, we're getting bored of it. Let's demand more. Marshall's playing rubbish as well. Matt Marshall, you're coming off. Where's me man? There he is. Tyrese Campbell's coming off. Hopefully, he can rescue us. Be my hero. Tyrese Campbell can be my hero. Kane Glazius there for people who don't know. Um, right, Garner, Milner, over the top ball, beautiful ball. Campbell, already making a difference, already showing more than Martial ever did. Yes, go on, Garner. That's what we like to see. A uh, vintage Garner, as Michael Cole would say. Vintage Garner. Garner's knackered though. But you're not coming off just yet, my friend. You need to sound this pitch. Oh, actually, no, he is coming off. He's don't risk it getting him injured. Doyle, you can come on. Uh, McCallum, you've been playing rubbish as well. We can't substitute you, so you're staying on. Dinger, you've been playing rubbish, so we can take you off at least. Stay two in there. Right, Marmor. McCallum, Redinger. Uh, Chucky holds the ball up. This is it, but it's the defender, Redinger. Yes, go on, Tyrese Campbell. Oh, here we go. Come on, referee. Have a word, your finger out your ear. Come on, this needs to be allowed. We need to have this allowed. Yes, go on. Uh, no, I'm going to cancel these substitutes now. Right. We will take Gar. Oh, no, we can't take Garner. No, we just made another substitution. Right. Okay. It is what it is. Two two. Don't well to get it back. Definitely not being the better team, but we've. Uh, Second half, we have to do nothing. Oh, for... why do I open my big mouth? We're going to score now, aren't they? Come on, defend, 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 defend. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the ball back, get the ball back. Yes, that's good. Good, right. Not again. Right. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his name, by the way. Hungarian player for Liverpool. Oh, God's sake. Oh, they got Ossiman. Come on, referee. VR, come to our rescue. Disallow this goal. Damn it. How's he been doing for Liverpool? So they signed him. Ossiman, for people who watch me on Twitch, he's playing for me in Newcastle. Went to Liverpool for 86 million this game. Um, played about the same amount of games he did play for me in my first season, so... Maybe he's a player that's very injury prone in general. We did so well to get it back to 2 2 as well. Uh, at least it wasn't an absolute drubbing like it looked like it was going to be. And you never know. Still got a few minutes left. If we can get the possession of the ball, there's always a chance. Oh, they're going to cock up it now. Nah. They're going to cock up there. I don't know what you're doing. I know you're old, but you could have done better than that. Right, get the ball up. Oh, that's it. Done. Okay. We didn't want to win this game anyway. Ah, very frustrating. Yeah. Right, that's that then. A uh, bit of a bad one to end the episode on. All right, let's just go through these. That's really annoying. Right, okay. So that's the end of this episode. Thank you, as always, for joining in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Um, follow me on Twitter. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com, uh, FM. Follow me on Twitch as well, twitch.tv, Um Facebook, facebook.com, 
slash Luter FM. Um, and obviously, you know, subscribe to me on here on YouTube. Um, I tend to try and upload one video a day at least. Sometimes I, most days I'll upload two because I'll always upload my Twitch stream recap, um, replay, sorry. But yeah, so have a nice day and I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.